Since making my last video on Red Dead Redemption 2, go check that out. New information from Rockstar Games has released about the future of Red Dead Redemption and let's just say it's not looking so bright. Hello there. General Kenobi. I'm posting gaming content every day, nearly. But if you do enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Anyway, after my video was released, I heard rumours from inside leaks that Rockstar was shaking in their boots. The upgrade that I had caused in this community went wild. Okay, obviously this didn't happen. But this week, some new information released, which is actually shocking. It was revealed that Red Dead Redemption 2 has now passed over 50 million copies sold. 4 million in the past 4 months. That's actually insane. For me to criticise Rockstar as much as I did, and with little to no content, not even being able to fully rob a train, barely any NPCs available, and about 3 players on this massive open world map. They are still making that bread. Not literally, they don't actually work in a bakery. I'm talking about the money, but maybe somehow they were in fact right to leave Red Dead Redemption 2 behind, grow the player base from the hardcore fans, and come back when the time is ready. I'm not trying to put any more hate on Rockstar, they are doing that to themselves. I'm just gonna say it, I don't know where the 60 FPS patch is. If it has been already done for GTA 5 on the Xbox and the PlayStation, then why not? Sure, it would be easier updating a newer version of the game too, but I'm not complaining, look at these graphics. Red Dead Redemption 2 also became the 6th best selling game last year and has yet been abandoned. And Rockstar responded. I know, you probably would not no way. Why would they respond to this? They responded by taking 40% of the hired gun kit. <laughs> you serious? Like most of the people in these comments here, I seriously could not hold out my excitement for this update coming in April. It amazes me that such a big company can create major updates like this and I feel like we should all be grateful, we should all apologise right now. I feel bad for even making this video. I mean, just scrolling through Rockstar's Twitter right now, you would think that they don't even own the game. How many tweets need to go out for GTA 5? Like, I get it, that's where you're making all your cash. Okay, that's a little bit too far. I am very sorry for the sarcasm. But seriously, what is this? You're telling me this is all they could come up with? You had over 200 days to come up with an update, and this is it. What about more clothes, more missions, where you can take out a wanted online member and get paid in gold? But instead, we get this, except from their online series that somehow keeps getting updated. I don't know why they are still trying with updates like this. You have one of the most played games of the year and decide to take 40% off a gun. But look, I am grateful. Okay, I'm really not. As Arthur once said, Vanderlyn, Vanderlyn, I'm always back. No, not that. I actually give up on online support for this game. And for the two people that are asking why, Rockstar gave up too. I really do feel bad for any Red Dead Redemption content creators right now. They must be scraping at the floor trying to get any content out of this game. I'd like to take this chance to thank my patrons. Here they are. Okay, there's no one there. This was a shorter video than usual. There wasn't a lot to cover. Just like in the newest update of Red Dead Redemption. But this is literally all the game has to offer. There is nothing else being talked about. Other than the best outfits for Arthur. And if you enjoy these type of videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Bye.